Hey, Doc Martinez here, and welcome to another journey down the old-fashioned rabbit hole. Well, March 24th is National Cocktail Day, so let's make what is considered the oldest cocktail, which is the Sazerac. Now, according to legend, the world's first cocktail was invented by apothecary Anton Pichard in New Orleans. He decided to name the cocktail after the drink's main ingredient, Sazerac French Brandy. He originally provided the drink after business hours to his fellow masons, serving in an A cup, also referred to as a coquetier. Coquetier. Cocktail quiz time. What is often considered the source of the word cocktail? Stay tuned to find out. Now the Sazerac is a spirit for a cocktail and it's one of the most iconic drinks coming out of New Orleans. It was a signature drink of the Sazerac Coffee House in New Orleans. Originally, Sazerac cocktail was made with Sazerac French brandy and Pichard's bitters. It was immensely popular, but later the recipe was altered to replace the French brandy with American rye whiskey and later adding a dash of absinthe. It's a simple and nice way to doctor up a rye whiskey. Now the Sazerac recipe just requires four ingredients, rye whiskey, a sugar cube, Pichard's bitters, and anise liqueur. However, there are varying opinions on how to prepare this drink. However, here are a few rules that must be followed. Make sure to stir and don't shake. Serve straight up, not on the rocks. Don't let the lemon peel touch the drink. And you must use Pichard's bitters. So let's go and make a Sazerac Old Fashioned Cocktail. First, you're gonna add ice and chill the coquetier and set it aside. However, if you don't have a coquetier, use a rocks glass. Next, we're gonna muddle two sugar cubes with two dashes of Pichard's aromatic bitters and also two dashes of orange bitters. We're gonna add two ounces of Sazerac. Place two ice cubes in the glass and continue stirring until chilled. Now, in the coquetier or the other rocks glass that was being chilled, we're gonna get rid of the ice and we're gonna coat the inside with a quarter ounce of absinthe. We're gonna swirl it evenly, covering the glass, then discard the absinthe. Rim the rock glass with lemon zest and strain the mixture into the glass. Then we're gonna add a spray of absinthe over the top. You can either throw away the lemon zest or garnish it to drink, just don't let it touch the drink. Cocktail quiz time. What is often considered the source of the word cocktail? The answer is, since Sazerac is considered the oldest cocktail, some believe that the name cocktail came from the A cup it was served in, the coquetier. Now in my research, I found this great article called The Real History, Maybe, of how a cocktail got its name. I will leave a link below just in case you want to read it. So let's try the Sazerac Old Fashion, the oldest cocktail. Before we do, I do have a confession to make. Now when I do my research for each video, I try to keep everything as accurate as possible and re-experience the cocktail as close to as I can without having to travel back in time. It's because I'm a little bit of a nerd. I'm also very lucky that my wife completely supports my craziness. So when researching the Sazerac Old Fashioned, I was excited to make my drink in an A cup or a coquetier. Coquetier. Just like the apothecary Pichard did when serving his fellow masons. So my wife was kind enough to order this for me. So as usual, my wife had to go a little bit fancy and order a very nice coquetier for my video. So when I filmed the first part of my video last night, knowing that the, I would have my coquetier today, well, there was a small problem. It was a little bit too small. <laughs> hey, but you gotta love it, and I appreciate my wife for trying. Thank you, wife. So once again, let's try the Sazerac Old Fashioned, the oldest cocktail. Oh wow, I do like that one. I was a little bit afraid with the uh, absence that I wasn't gonna be too crazy about it, but it's just enough of a hint that you taste it at the end. And drinking out of a small glass is always cute. So enjoy and celebrate National Cocktail Day and check out my next video. Cheers.